Well, it's about 20 minutes to go until uh, uh, the spacecraft finishes its journey and come back to the Earth. That will wrap up the Shenzhou 10 mission. And uh, this re-entry module has uh, already separated with the orbiting module, and it is about to enter into the blackout phase. So during that blackout phase, uh, we were told that the communication between the ground and the spacecraft will be cut off. There is no communication whatsoever. Yes. Why is that? Uh, what happened during that uh, yeah. minutes? Okay. So uh, that is uh, when the return capsule entered the atmosphere and uh, with a very high speed. Mm. So the, uh, at the beginning, the, uh, the air is very thin and it, it could be easily uh, formed a plasma, uh, mm. uh, uh, a layer of plasma around mm. the uh, return capsule. How, so how high is that? Uh, it's about... Uh, uh, 100 kilometer? 100 meter, uh, kilometer um, uh, also. So, so one, 100 kilometers above the Earth. Above the the Earth. air is very thin. Very thin. Yeah. And then it will turn into plasma surrounding yeah. the spacecraft. Yeah, and it helps solve the, uh, the uh, radio uh, signals so that um, we have the phenomena of the blackout. Mm -hmm. And uh, that means uh, there's no the spacecraft is, is on its own. Sure. W what can go wrong during that period, and how long is that period? Okay, so uh, it's mm. uh, what can be could be go wrong. So it's uh, uh, descending with a very high speed, mm. and the, the pl this plasma and this uh, generate a lots of uh, heat, mm. which uh, may uh, uh, make the uh, uh, capsule with a very high uh, high temperature. Mm. That is one of the uh, dangerous effect. Hmm. And now we have seen uh, the re-entry capsule has already on the trajectory uh, back to the Earth. In less than 20 minutes, it will come aground. Uh, but very soon, it will enter uh, what we call blackout phase. But so far, we still can keep track of the spacecraft, hmm. relying on our communication channels. Uh, we were told this time that the communication has improved uh, greatly compared hmm. with uh, what we did 10 years ago, uh, thanks to uh, many uh, communication technologies like we have uh, the uh, communication satellites hmm. that provide hmm. uh, real-time communication with the spacecraft. Can you tell us on something about that? So the Zhonglian uh, satellite, some say, is a very reliable way of communicating with mm. the space mission. Yes, before the uh, this Tianan system had uh, set up, mm. uh, we have to send the uh, uh, ships to the uh, ocean and to monitor the uh, situation of the uh, spaceship. And that um, is not uh, you cannot do it all the time. Only when the uh, uh, spaceship go over the uh, the uh, coverage of the ship, so the communication is not continuously. It uh, sometimes you have uh, no signals from the spaceship. Mm. And mm. after this ten, uh, ten lens system, mm. they have uh, three um, uh, satellite communication satellite at the geostationary orbit so that it can keep the communication all the time. Mm. I mean, the, uh, not only the, 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 the signal of the voices, but also the vo uh, video. video also. Mm. So that's why we can have a, a 45 minute of space class uh, so continuously so without so any uh, uh, breaking. Yes. Mm. This not even, not even happened uh, during mm. the uh, mm. EVA um, Period. Uh, period. Um. They have to uh, arrange this activity um, mm. in the communication communication coverage mm. uh, areas. And now we can have a continuous At twenty-four time, hour communication mm. with with our yeah. spacecraft. Mm.
Uh, I believe this is a infrared picture of the spacecraft. And this time the ground uh, has many tools to keep track of the spacecraft. Uh, they have optical camera, of course they have radio communication, uh, and also infrared cameras to keep track of the spacecraft coming back to the Earth. And this should be the infrared picture yes. uh, mm. uh, of taken of the spacecraft. It's on its trajectory. And you can see the heat. Uh, because uh, the infra uh, mm. Mm. wave band can be very sensible, uh, mm. sensible to the heat. So you can see. Uh, explain to us why there was so much heat and uh, mm. what kind of a mechanism they say they have they have a shield mm -hmm. uh, yeah. surrounding the re-entry module the re-entry mm. module is the only part that can sustain mm. the heat produced when uh, the re-entry uh, mm. uh, happened why why there is so much heat and why do we need a shield to pr mm. to protect the re-entry module. So this is the, the relative movement of the mm. atmosphere and the mm. high-speed uh, return capsule. That mm. makes, uh, uh, generate the heat. And the shield is uh, mm. for um, protected uh, return capsule from the heat. Yeah. And we have seen our mm. ground crew, including uh, helicopters and vehicles, mm. have been dispatched to search for the re-entry capsule when it landed. So some even say when it already come back to the atmosphere, uh, the weather conditions here on the ground uh, can be also a factor uh, because if it is too much wind, or yeah. rain, it could uh, jeopardize uh, the mission. Why is that? Well, <coughs> of course, the uh, if you are in the thunderstorm, mm. that uh, even an airplane cannot uh, s uh, take off during mm. the bad weather. Mm. So maybe uh, some uh, radio signals, uh, some, uh, some, some harmful things happen on the return capsule and mm. uh, also mm. if the wind is too big, too, uh, too... But, but the return capsule is, is not an aircraft. It doesn't have any power. Or it <laughs> cannot... But it has uh, devices, electronic devices. Mm. So mm. Uh, and also strong wind can blow the uh, parachutes. But they're now making predictions about the landing site. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the latitude and altitude, Beijing, uh, the, the longitude of, of the landing site. So they have made predictions about the exact landing site. It seems to be very uh, precise, and, and, but the problem is can be uh, accurate as is the real landing. Yeah, the uh, the, uh, the once had the. Uh, some error, some, some tolerance of the landing uh, er, uh, point. Mm. Originally, it's about uh, some, some 20 kilometers if you fill. 20 kilometers? 20, 20 kilometers. But uh, now, mm. it's That's much, pretty much far, more. 20 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. but it, uh, yeah. that means you can get there mm. by vehicle uh, or a car mm. in, let's say, in 10 uh, minutes. In 10 minutes. Yes. And now, it's very precise. Mm. Uh, some some sometimes that uh, mm -hmm. before the mm. uh, parachutes mm. um, deploy deploy mm. they have even seen mm. uh, uh, what where they were going to a actually this is what happened with Tango uh, with uh, Shinjo uh, nine mm -hmm. they just uh, took it took them three minutes to yeah. Yeah. to get mm -hmm. to the landing. Sure. Site uh, that's pretty fast. Yeah. yeah, that means that all the so predictions are accurate. Yes. Uh, they mm. landed exactly as planned. Mm. Uh, if you go back to uh, mm. early uh, missions, uh, this process could uh, mm. could uh, cost uh, some uh, uh, hours. I mean, Beijing, uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, minutes. Uh, uh, even 
even in the uh, former Soviet Union space missions, yeah. uh, there was once that the landing of the spacecraft the is thousands of <laughs> kilometers <laughs> away sure. uh, yeah. from the original landing site, and that could be a big problem yeah. for the retrieval yeah. group. Yeah. Yeah. So the astronaut has to be trained how to how uh, to survive how to in, survive in, a, in yeah. a hostile environment. I think yeah. our astronauts also received training like this. Mm. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. they have to be trained uh, if anything wrong happened, they mm. have to, uh, to rescue themselves. They have to try the wild life and mm. also underwater, mm. they have yeah, many situations they have prepared. And another interesting thing to mm. notice is that mm. it seems uh, the Chinese and Russians have, chose, have chosen to land their spacecraft mm. on land. Mm. Uh, all of us yeah. land in, in a vast grassland or mm. wide mm. Uh, stretches of land, mm. but the American shuttle program mm. cho have chosen to land uh, in water uh, or, or their in early Apollo. not 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 uh, space shuttle, but the Apollo missions, earlier missions of their spacecraft. Mm. Wh why did they choose splash off rather than land in? The uh, well, this is a uh, question I, I happen to think of, but I, uh, I think that uh, uh, we have good conditions of uh, landing site on the uh, land. Maybe they choose this because they have the um, whole system designed for the uh, retrieval on the uh, sea. Yeah, on the <laughs> if landing on the sea, it's maybe uh, you reduce the impact force. Impact well, yeah. you can yeah. see the uh, parachute has deployed. Yeah. That means uh, the spacecraft can go to the re-entry module mm. is uh, to be is decelerated. Uh, yeah. So oh, yes, the parachute deploy is to reduce mm. the speed of the spacecraft when it's about to land. Yes. Uh, how how high is it? The main chute also deployed. How high is the, this? The uh, is it that the f uh, the smaller uh, parachute? Uh, I mean, should open at uh, about uh, deploy at the about uh, 10, ten kilo uh, ten, ten kilometers, kilometers above the earth, mm. and then the main uh, parachutes, mm. which um, may uh, deploy at about uh, four. Uh, I mean, 4,000 uh, meters. 4,000 meters. So it is mm. 4,000 meters above the Earth. The main chute is already deployed. Yeah. Uh, it will reduce the speed of the re-entry module. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And that's why wind should be a problem. When the main yes. chute deployed, mm. if there's too much wind, mm. it, it can disrupt uh, the landing process. If you're right. Maybe the wind maybe blew the aircraft far away from the landing, landing together, site. <laughs> together yeah. with yeah. the parachute. Yes. Uh, we mm. see two pictures on the left hand side mm. is the optical camera uh, picture of, of the chute and also the spacecraft. Uh, on the right hand side just now is the infrared picture. And whenever we see this parachute uh, deployed, mm. um, most of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we are very much released because this mm. whole process, the most dangerous part has already mm. passed. The most dangerous part is for the chute to deploy. Yeah. And now the chute deployed, that means the spacecraft is basically safe. Basically safe. Well, from the command, it says the chute has deployed and is descending, scheduled safely to the ground. And now all the helicopters and vehicles are now trying to get close to that uh, chute. Yes. yes. Do they rely on their visual 
images or do they rely on communication? To make the process uh, reliable, they have several kinds of uh, uh, measures. Mm. Mm. Of course, uh, the, uh, their eyes is one of them, but they also have the uh, um, optical devices. And, uh, but they are, they are updating on, on the landing side, mm. the longitude. Mm. According to the uh, wind and according to the uh, speed of the parachute. So they are making adjustments to their landing yes. predictions. Yes. So this is the second time they yes. predict yes. about the landing site. And those uh, information were beamed to all the helicopters and vehicles yes. on the ground yes. so that they can uh, adjust it. Where they will, they will, they will be landing. The, mm -hmm. Where they will be landing. Mm -hmm. But uh, can, can they see the parachute uh, from a distance now? Uh, it, it, it depends. If you uh, it depends on, it, it, on, if you on the weather conditions. If you, uh, the uh, prediction is uh, correct. Is correct. Yeah. And the uh, helicopter, uh, helicopter is at the right place. They may uh, follow the parachutes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and now for the tracking uh, team here on the ground today, use uh, GPS or our own homegrown Beidou navigation or both? Uh, they have uh, uh, so-called uh, double uh, star uh, positioning system mm. and uh, also they have the uh, beacon, I mean on the within capsule to tell the, tell the uh, Let's go, team. Where it is, mm -hmm. and also uh, on the retain uh, capsule, they have they have um, flashlight in case the mm -hmm. rescue of uh, in the night. Mm -hmm. But this uh, takes time. It uh, takes place in the morning. They should have uh, the ability to see uh, the spacecraft. And also uh, the, uh, I mean, radio uh, detecting system to mm. find. Uh, uh, I it, think it seems that sometimes uh, we've chosen to land in the evening, and sometimes we chose to land in the morning, or, or is it all the same period of time every time? Uh, I think it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's according to, uh, mm. to the orbiter. Yeah. Uh, procedure. W if they the uh, it doesn't matter because just mm. because uh, they have pre-planned uh, mm. the procedure when to uh, launch it, how how longer they will stay in the space. So how do we decide when to mm. have it come back to the Earth? The this the is in fact uh, um, pre-designed. Uh, Pre-designed. Pre Pre-designed. In and fact, each mission may be different. Uh, only the time is different, but the uh, the they have to at some point uh, to to send the signal to mm. send the commander that mm -hmm. uh, they have to return. That means uh, you have to return under the uh, trajectory of the orbit. Mm. And and the three astronauts on board, uh, what what is the kind of a state they are in? Can they can they still have communication with with the Earth that now? Yeah, except sure. for the blackout period, yeah. they can do this. No, they, they can, can have that. real time communication yeah. with the Earth. Mm. So that means we know they are safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, it is not uh, uh, not the case in the previous uh, uh, missions. Mm. Um, I mean, the before, mm. let's say, Sun, uh, Sun Zhou, uh, five or something. So yeah. during Yang Li Wei's mission, they yeah. they don't have communication in the reentry capsule. A few minutes earlier, I s we saw some drop the big bottle mm -hmm. for the preventing uh, heat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. already sure, dropped. Sure. Yeah. That means uh, it's uh, mm. it's the process is uh, normally uh, mm. going on. Yeah, very very good Perf performance, very real. Mm. <laughs> I think maybe in in 
Maybe um, a, few, a few minutes. What is the rough speed of the spacecraft descending now? The yeah. after the deploy of the parachute, the yes. speed uh, mm. uh, was dropped from uh, uh, some uh, hundred meters per second to uh, let's say hundred meters per second. Dropped mm. to the that's uh, free fall. Yes, yes. Before the uh, parachute, uh, mm. pin. so the after this. Uh, it uh, goes down to the about uh, 60 or, or 60 meters yes. per, per second, second. Per second. Yeah. and uh, it has to be further and reduced uh, further reduced and yeah. then, then slow down to the some uh, some uh, let's say six or, or, yeah. or seven meters per second mm. and then mm. uh, when they are going to touch down there mm. are some still uh, yeah ray we have anti small, small, small engines small engines, small engines. Yeah. and if you see the uh, yeah, the small engine works yeah. uh, with the smoke. So then you see it. How how high is it when the small engines, what we call, like little rockets? Yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. little rockets. Yeah, there's a, a gamma ray uh, detector mm. to detect it. Uh, the, oh, okay. uh, the distance from distance the spacecraft from the to the ground. Yeah. Uh, mm. When the uh, it goes to one meter. One meter. One so meter. The, one meter. Uh, the engine start started. To work. To okay. further reduce the speed yes. and, and reduce the impact. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. And also, Professor Zhuang has mentioned that then mm. the uh, mechanic uh, system in the mm. uh, capsule will work and it further reduce the impact. Uh, mm. You mean the me mechanism system? Yeah, mechanic. In the inside. Just uh, uh, Professor Zhuang has said yeah, that. Yeah, when one, be one, uh, one meter, the, the engines will stop work, and uh, we can deform the bottom will be deformed. Mm -hmm. The plastic deformation yeah. can reduce the energy, can mm. absorb the energy, mm. so can keep the safety of the astronaut. And the arm and the chair of the astronaut will move and up and down, mm. also reduce the energy. Mm. <laughs> well, you're now watching a special coverage on Shenzhou 10's return mm. mission. Uh, about 20 minutes ago. It has already detached from its orbiting module and then decelerate yeah. and enter its trajectory back to the Earth. And then the main chute opened mm. to further decelerate mm. the spacecraft. And now it is on its way to the ground. So we don't know after 15 days in space whether mm. these astronauts will be feeling as good as the previous mission because this is the longest mm -hmm. service for many of them, uh, including yeah. one female. Yeah. Uh, last time, uh, it seems that the procedure, the routine procedures for them to be carried out of the uh, out of the uh, spacecraft mm. uh, with the help of, of a chair and being carried away rather than they, they walk out of the cabin. So is this necessary or is it something we have to take in case their, their physical shape is not so good? Mm. For my think, I think it's not necessary. Maybe he can walk by himself, but uh, for safety, the, with a chair, bring the astronaut out of the space uh, shuttle is good for keep the health because mm. only thing is the, I think is the ball density mm. will be loosed during the zero uh, yeah. uh, yes mm. the, uh, mm. the some of the astronauts mm. go mm. outside the, mm. the written capsule yeah. uh, uh, by themselves mm. yeah. but uh, there are some cases yeah. that uh, they have lost their muscles that yeah. they cannot even mm. Stand steady. Yes. Mm. So uh, in case of uh, this in uh, case. happened, so different people, different person yeah. may, may they may have, have different different mm. uh, response. Oh, wow! It landed. <laughs> we have seen the picture. Yes. Uh, 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 oh, oh, already landed. A of dust has been produced. Uh, this yeah. is Vice Premier Zhang Gaoli watching the process. Yeah. The re-entry module of Shenzhou 10 has just landed mm. in Inner Mongolia. Mm beautiful thing. Yeah. But that means the helicopter taking the pictures not very far away from the landing site. Otherwise we couldn't have seen mm -hmm. yeah, the picture. A few hundred meters. Yeah. 
Well, this is where Shinzo Ten mm -hmm. landed with oh. the three <laughs> astronauts and the scientists yeah. and engineers congratulating each other mm -hmm. for the successful conclusion mm -hmm. of this mission. And uh, next, we will, of course, uh, have all the vehicles and helicopters approaching mm -hmm. uh, the spacecraft, and they will retrieve the three astronauts on board mm -hmm. to see whether they are well. Mm -hmm. But basically, this mission has been called a success. Mm -hmm. uh, we cannot see clearly how the spacecraft's position is, because last time we see the, uh, the spacecraft has <laughs> tumbled a little bit. Rooting them. Yeah, uh -huh. and road uh, sideways rather than yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, up, up, upright. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes uh, because of the <coughs> the geography, the geography yeah, on yeah, the, here yeah. on the land, and uh -huh. also the wind. Mm -hmm. But we can oh, yeah. already see the spacecraft on yeah. the ground. Mm. Uh, there is some wind because uh, yeah, the yeah. dust has been blown. Mm. But this is another picture taken mm. from uh, another chopper of of the spacecraft. Uh, we don't know how many minutes for the vehicles to uh, to get to the spacecraft, but last time it was only three minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, the astronauts on board must be pretty happy to come back home. Right. Uh, tell us, uh, describe to us the size of the re-entry uh, mm. capsule, mm. how big a place it is. Uh, you mean the... Uh, the re-entry module. The re-entry re module. Is it's uh, uh, diameter? What? Diameter. Diameter is... Uh, Maybe uh, it seems uh, so four meters... Uh, four meters so. diameter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The rocket only three uh, point twenty-five yeah. meters. Okay, that's uh, yeah. le less than four yeah. meters, I think. Yeah, these are a little bit big. So it's, it's, than the it's rocket. pretty a yeah. cramped space for mm -hmm. three astronauts. Yeah, very mm -hmm. narrow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, not enough room. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> so this return capsule is designed yeah. for most uh, three uh, crew members. Yeah. yeah. So it's maximum capacity yes. of three. There's a <coughs> seat in the middle and. Uh, mm left, uh, right, each, yeah. um, mm. each side. Wh wh yes. Why did we decide that we only accommodate three astronauts? Um, the size matter here? Why, why cannot we have a bigger yeah, return okay. mass? So the bigger one is uh, for need for... Central long March 5, yeah. number 5. W because at the moment we are we have a rocket for the lens we, we have vehicles, only 325 <coughs> meters, mm. four diameters. Because we have land societies the, the west of China, mm. if we will send long mass five, we land in the Hainan Island, mm. we will be five diameters. Mm. The vehicles will be the send, uh, airship will be bigger for aircraft, mm. so we can hold so many astronauts inside. So that means, uh, in order to have a larger space station, yes, uh, than Tiangong, it's just a prototype. Yeah. We need to have larger capacity for the launch vehicle. Yes, right. That means the launch vehicle will be bigger must and be more cap capable. Yes, okay. must be bigger. Yeah. And when will that happen? Before we have a, a, a larger launch vehicle and another yes. uh, launch site in 2016 Hainan. or 2017 uh, around? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Maybe uh, three years later. Yeah. In Hainan. Wen in Chang. Hainan, Wen Chang. Wen Chang, yes. Uh, this is a picture taken from the helicopters yes. of mm. spacecraft Shenzhou mm. 10. Mm. It is al already landed mm. about five minutes ago in Inner Mongolia. Before Shenzhou mm. 9, for helicopters, we couldn't go communicate it uh, continually for the mm. signals tra mm. transfer to the to the CCTV centers. Mm. Now we have a special technology for, for the signal can tra transfer the continuously, mm. not That's interpret. We can, interpret. Uh, yes. continuous. We, can, we can see the continuous signals. Yeah. There's also Tsinghua University make some contribution <coughs> yeah. to this. for this work.
we haven't seen the, uh, the vehicles uh, or mm. already, but uh, mm. it should, shouldn't be very long because they have uh, basically accurately predicted the landing site. Mm. Uh, can we tell from the picture that the local geography is good? Well, yeah, it seems yeah, that we have seen uh, people yeah. surrounding. Only, only five minutes. Five minutes. Yes. Uh, that's pretty yeah. fast for yeah. the uh, people to get close yeah. to the spacecraft. Mm. But that again shows how accurate the prediction <laughs> mm -hmm. is. But this is a close up of yeah. the spacecraft. Uh, it's sideways, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it landed sideways mm -hmm. on the ground. Uh, we have to explain that the pictures uh, was originally high definition, that's why there is a little uh, twisting of the images on our standard definition picture. But people on the ground have already come close to spacecraft Shindo 10. Mm. They are now checking the ulterior, mm -hmm. the, out, the outside. Mm. Uh, some parts are being burned because of the heat <laughs> when they <laughs> enter the earth. Yes. Uh, is, is that a, a window there? Uh, you mean on the, uh, on the left hand? Left, uh, it's uh, the, in fact, the, the, mm. uh, the Hatch door, uh, hatch door. I mean. The hatch door. The hatch door. Where, where they were so where they were open to, yeah, to retrieve yeah. the astronauts. The inside. astronauts go into the waiting capsule through this. Mm. Uh, is, is that position ideal for ground staff to retrieve the astronauts? It's uh, sideways oh. on the ground with this belly on the ground. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so they have no choice, almost. Uh, okay. <laughs> First, uh, they have to decide different uh, scenarios. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, that uh, mm -hmm. I, first of all, you you, you don't have the uh, cho choice mm -hmm. uh, because of the wind, because of the geography yes. conditions, and yeah. uh, also the land uh, yeah. landscapes. Yeah. And uh, yeah. you cannot say this <laughs> is worse than the uh, uh, in other. I mean, stand uh, standing uh, position because uh, you know inside the uh, inside uh, the yeah. within capsule, yeah. their back is to the. Uh, to the bottom of the, I mean, the, uh, the, the back of the uh, astronaut yes. is against the the uh, the, uh, the, the, the the left, uh, I mean, the rightmost side. So maybe they have uh, the position of standing up. Maybe turning the down. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm upside. not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you cannot tell. Well, this is a, another uh, shot from another angle of the spacecraft Shindo 10. Yeah. Uh, what we see on, on the front is the hatch yeah. yes. that's going to yeah. be open. Yes. You, you can see the flash. Yeah. They may communicate it with the internal inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't know whether the three astronauts how long will it take for them to acclimatize to this the Earth environment again? Mm. That will probably take an hour. Uh, they will check on the major vitals of the three astronauts before we make sure they can open the hatch mm. yes. and retrieve them. Last time is 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yeah. So mm. the first uh, mm. first thing that uh, they will the uh, the have done to when the uh, rescue team mm. reach the point mm. is to uh, set the alert area. Mm. Ah. You can see the belt mm. that uh, only the... Well, why did it mean to close off this area? This is because they have procedure at a certain time, mm. certain group of people can enter, Cannot enter. Yes, enter yes. this. Uh, mm. Mm. So the first, uh, they may uh, first uh, dealing with the... Mm. Within capsule, and then, mm. the and this is also their work area yes. where they will yes. check everything. Yes. Mm. Basically, it takes 40, 30, 40 minutes to uh, make sure that mm -hmm. the, the crew people have the health good, yes. yeah, uh, get used to the gravity, mm -hmm. and also for the uh, muscles, mm. and also 
recovered some little bit recovered. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. we've just heard is yeah. that the ground control telling us uh, the spacecraft itself yeah. is in good shape. Mm. And now they were about to check uh, the hatch system, whether they can open it in time. Before the astronaut uh, mm. mm, get out of the return capsule, they have first mm. to check mm. the capsule itself, mm. whether it's uh, safe enough for mm. open mm. the mm. hatch door. Mm. Yeah. The, the, what what could happen to the capsule itself? The structure could be damaged. Or you mean yes, the the structure? There are, there are still some devices which are harmful. They have the radiation. Mm. There are some uh, devices. Uh, the, 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 they have to check if the all the, uh, in, mm, I mean, prop propellant has already mm. used out because mm. there are some could uh, be poisonous. Poisonous. So after all this checking has been done. Mm. Then they will um, make the uh, astronauts <coughs> get out of the uh, return capsule. So there must be a lot of uh, contingency plans uh, if anything goes wrong. Uh, what what are those contingency plans? Uh, I must say, uh, but so far we have seen complete success. No yeah. major errors for the yes. space missions, manned space missions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are a group of people. I mean, a group of uh, engineers sitting there um, for quite a long time. All, all their work, their job is to make all this um, pre-arranged uh, uh, precaution plans uh, I mean the the, the measure uh, the, the, the plans for the uh, uh, disaster and uh, mm. and accident mm. every uh, situation mm. they should have a measure to deal with yeah, just tell us what kind of uh, scenarios could could there be for I mean, example do you mean the uh, return process the return process the return process or, or first of all if you uh, um, break the uh, spaceship at the wrong time and the wrong position, the the landing point may be different. Mm. Different, mm. as mm. you have already mentioned, that uh, some mm. thousand kilos from the. They must have ground to prepare for that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So this is the mm, one thing might happen, mm. and the second. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're open. trying to trying open to the open. hatch. Yeah, it's, open. it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's already open. It's it so they, they turn the, opening the, the handle yeah. on the hatch. Yeah. Yeah. So that means they already decided to open the hatch. That's right. Yes. It's already opened. Yeah. I think that the but that's a little different from oh. what I was told because uh, oh. <laughs> it may take longer <laughs> for <laughs> the ground staff to enter into the capsule. Mm. Do, do they have the same hatch system? It seems that last time it's not like that. Open the hatch with a handle. Well, I think same. Yeah. The same design. Same, the same design uh, facilitates. Yeah. yeah. To open the, to open the door. Yeah. yeah. And now one ground staff, or is it already enter the capsule where three astronauts were now still, are staying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means they can talk face to face rather than <laughs> through communication. <laughs> And it's the first time the three astronauts have talked to anybody other than <laughs> each other mm -hmm. during their 15 days mm. of journey. Be very happy. Yeah. yeah, to see uh, <laughs> their colleagues back, back on the ground, mm -hmm. to greet them and welcome them home. So at this current stage, uh, the medical staff will probably come in. Mm -hmm. uh, they will mm. check whether the, health. the three astronauts are in good shape. Yes. W what kind of a test will there be? Uh, uh, I think that uh, the 
uh, have to, uh, I, I mean, they have to first uh, check if there's any injury. Uh, mm. Yes. Uh, uh, I mean, the uh, obvious injuries or something like that, and uh, to see if they can. Make everybody can speak. Manage. Yeah. Yeah. Make very clear thinking, yeah. talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm. the, the m most of the tests, uh, I think they should be mm. when they get out and mm. uh, to, to Hos the hospital. Yes. Uh, before that, uh, just to check if they can safely uh, uh, get out of the return capsule. Mm. They, they have uh, some uh, criterias that uh, first... The criterias. Uh, criterias. Mm. So mm -hmm. first, that uh, mm. the, the if the astronaut can go out mm. from the capsule mm. uh, by themselves, mm. that could be called a uh, completely successful yes. of the... Mm. But if uh, something wrong has happened, they have to, uh, mm. to get out. Uh. Because Professor Zhuang, you mentioned there are mm. several mechanisms mm. inside mm. the capsule to ensure yes. their safety. Mm. Uh, what what are those special arrangements that the astronauts can have the least impact when they come back to the Earth? They, they almost couldn't do nothing. Everything's automatic. Mm. Yeah. So that they themselves are just uh, they just fasten the bed, uh, fasten their the seatbelt on the chair. Yeah. Just waiting the 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 air seat touch down the ground. Yeah. 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 Uh, they just as with the uh, 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 the the mechanic. I mean, the yeah. professor uh, Wang has mentioned the. Uh, mm. The seat, the seat can be yeah. adjustable yeah. seats, yeah. 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 and also they are uh, steadily uh, buckled up on the sh on the seat. Mm. The seat is uh, yeah. shaped uh, according to their body shape, mm. so yes. that uh, yeah. they feel uh, very comfortable with. Uh, the almost the seat is a personal design. Yeah, yeah, mm. for the each. Astronaut. You mean it's, it's tailored according to different uh, different body body shoot body body, yeah. body, body fashions body shoot body comp uh, configurations yeah. Yeah. yeah so each uh, mm. astronaut has mm. uh, his or her mm. own seat <laughs> designed <laughs> for specifically yeah, for him or yeah. her yeah. yes. Well, this may take longer uh, mm. than we expect. Uh, mm. Last time is 45 minutes mm -hmm. uh, for the three astronauts mm. to come out of the capsule. Mm. You are now watching a uh, live coverage of the return of Shindo 10. Just a minute ago, the re-entry capsule has landed in Inner Mongolia after 15 days in space, carrying three astronauts on board. They, they are Ni Hai Sheng as the captain, Zhang Xiaoguang, and Chinese a second female astronaut, Wang Yaping, who just uh, several days ago taught a lesson of physics from space and beamed back uh, to tens of thousands or millions of students here on the earth. This is the first time it is conducted in Chinese. Mm -hmm. mm. So Mr. Goy, you mentioned that the astronauts may have uh, near-term and longer-term uh, acclimatization, mm -hmm. acclimatization processes. Mm. Uh, according to your knowledge, uh, have they encountered any problems when they are trying to adjust to the Earth environment? Uh, what problems could there be? Uh, as I have already said, that, that there are several uh, kinds of uh, phenomena maybe uh, could be seen. Ha have we encountered this kind of a problem uh -huh. um, in the previous missions? Okay. So ev I think that every astronaut has uh, to uh, have to have this period, mm -hmm. 
has to have this fear because uh, mm. you have already lost your muscles. Mm. You have already experienced this uh, ro 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 rolling or this return proce uh, mm. process. You have already experienced the uh, uh, microgravity in the space. So the body has changed. The, sy the different system have was changed. Mm. So they must uh, experience this period. Mm. Which means that... Uh, but do they have difficulty uh, uh, coming back to their normal shape? Um, <laughs> I don't think it's uh, difficult because um, <laughs> I think that the human beings has the ability of uh, mm. self... Mm. Um, adjusting. Adjusting or mm. self uh, heal, um, healing mm. so that uh, they can um, recover in, let's say, weeks. And also the doctors mm. have already uh, have the uh, measures something like uh, physical exercise mm. and something like uh, medicine treatment mm. so they can ca uh, overcome all this mm. phenomena and uh, mm. uh, re-adapt to the earth environment there's no problem mm. so there's no abnormal things but uh, this is a uh, uh, process they have must uh, undergo mm. Will, will experience be a, a thing that they should consider? Because we know this time the captain, Li Hai Sheng, mm. is not his first time. Yes. Uh, it's yeah. the second time mm. that he's uh, being in space. But of yeah. course, this time is uh, much longer, uh, mm. 15 days. Mm. So if he is an experienced mm. astronaut, will that be easier to acclimatize to both space and, and, and Earth environment? I think it's definitely because the mm. he mm. know mm. that how to uh, prepare for the re redemption uh, mm. because uh, I think that uh, he mm. might take some uh, mm. his personal experience uh, take mm. some measure mm. that can mm. uh, make the process quicker. Yeah, I agree with uh, Professor Guo. I think uh, there's a, there's two issues. One issue is for psychology. It's easy for recover mm -hmm. from the Earth to the space and uh, come back again. For the physicality, mm. it's mm, take a take the longer time mm -hmm. or the short time. Mm -hmm. For uh, physicality, is the special is the muscle. One is muscle thing. Muscle should be because there's zero uh, gravity in the space and uh, on the earth they are we have gravity. Mm. The muscle, some lose the muscles, yes, lose the, the uh, density of bones will be take time uh, recovered. Oh. But we were told there are some exercise yeah, in the, in the, in tools the in, in our space lab, like right, the bicycles. bicycles. Yes, that's or important. Or, or some... Uh, yes. But you cannot uh, do the exercise, uh, exercise <laughs> all the time in the space because <laughs> we experience 1G uh, gravity on the ground all the time. Yes, that's right. Yes. But uh, mm. if you make exercise mm. in the space, mm. that you can do the exercises um, uh, for s let's say a few hours a day. Yeah. It's so still not, not, not enough. Not enough uh, because not enough. Uh, you're not in the uh, mm. gravity all the time. Mm. But there's uh, some designing in the future that uh, mm. they make the uh, artificial uh, gravity. That mm. means mm. you can stay in the environment which have, which has, I mean, the gravity mm. Mm. in the space. Well, mm. according to the latest report, the astronauts mm. are mm. in good shape. Yeah. They said that the astronauts are feeling pretty good. Mm. All three of them. Yeah.